Hello everyone. This video is meant for the students who have taken a drop for JE. I am a faculty at IIT Kharagpur in the Mechanical Engineering Department. But when I was your age, I was myself a dropper. So the things that I am going to discuss in this video are based on my personal experiences. And my hope is that you are going to benefit from some of them. I only wish that somebody had told me this just, I'm, just as I am going to tell you now uh, back when I was your age. I just had to figure these things out on my own. So in this video, first of all, I am going to discuss four important tips. But the fifth thing that I am going to discuss is not a tip, it's going to be a scolding. You heard that right, it's going to be a scolding. Alright, first of all, the, the, one of the most important tips is that you have to understand that for the sake of JE, you have to go about leveling up step by step. What I mean by that is that for JE advanced, so when you are preparing for JE, many of you start with the notion that you are going to be uh, appearing for JE advanced. But the issue is that there are certain very special kinds of problems in JE advanced which require a special kind of advanced preparation. Now, if you start your preparation from that level, instead of building up very foundationally step by step, making sure that you are confident at each and every subsequent step, first of all, your foundation is going to be very flimsy and weak. And even if you can maybe accidentally solve a couple of problems at the JE advanced level, what is going to happen is that you may not be able to perform well in JE mains or maybe some of the other state level or other uh, entrance examinations. Now, in the drop year, it is extremely important for you to understand that this is the last chance. So you have to actually ensure that you get through JE mains or some other entrance examination to end up in a very good college. This is extremely, extremely important to understand. So you start up, you start with a, with the kind of preparation which will automatically ensure a backup plan. You cannot start preparing for a level which will kind of give you the dream and the hope and the aspiration of getting into an older IIT and then later on think about some kind of a backup plan. No, your backup plan has to start foundationally and later on you can go for a more aspirational goal of a higher level performance that will get you into the IITs. This is extremely, extremely important to understand. What I, so let me give you a very specific example regarding this. Uh, suppose, uh, let's consider the case of organic chemistry. Now, we know that for JE advanced, reaction mechanisms are a very important topic. Now, maybe in some of the lower level examinations, entrance examination, reaction mechanisms are not that important. But if you just think of preparing for reaction mechanisms without even ensuring that you are absolutely confident with maybe conversions, organic chemistry conversions, then your preparation is very flimsy. What are you doing? Okay, and for this, uh, I'll, I'll say this, that if necessary, you have to make sure that the board level kind of thing is something which you are absolutely confident about. Suppose you have to sit for your board exams, hypothetically speaking, again, then uh, you would absolutely come out with flying colors. So somebody who is thinking of going for an entrance examination like J should be absolutely, absolutely confident with the board level stuff. Okay, so before you can go to the higher level, make sure that you absolutely are confident with the lower level stuff. Okay, so uh, if you are real, if your preparation has been solid, it should be that you will absolutely sail through these uh, state level entrance examinations, the JE mains. Okay, if you're real, if your preparation for J advanced has been truly genuine, then that should be the case. Okay, so every step has to be concretely fulfilled. Next, uh, there is a tendency among some students. So this is the next step. There is a tendency among some students to spend an undue amount of time on certain topics. What I mean by that is, there are certain students who develop a certain level of proficiency and mastery in a certain topic. Now, there is a great temptation among them to spend a lot of time just doing difficult, difficult problems in that very narrow topic. 
they will find out from various sources difficult questions and keep on spending a lot of time uh, just dealing with those kinds of problems but not realizing that the time that they are spending on one very narrow topic ultimately there may be only a very limited marks from that uh, topic so what what's i mean what's the benefit of being able to very confidently do one problem or two problems from a very narrow topic at the level of j advanced or maybe even olympiad level problem if your overall preparation is not very good so if you cannot solve very basic kind of problems from other topics and uh, so uh, maybe even from the state level entrance examination then then what is the benefit and mind you for j advanced it is uh, quite often the case that uh, the, the questions are kind of composite problems con uh, con combining concepts in one single problem uh, from various chapters so just because you are a master in one chapter doesn't necessarily ensure actually that you are going to end up performing very well so your mastery should be spread across all the chapters covering the entire syllabus maybe in one or two topic naturally you are going to end up being strong so practice in that but don't spend an undue amount in that i have actually seen this kind of uh, of a of a behavior in certain students they fall into this trap of uh, uh, of just practicing problems from a very narrow domain from a very narrow set of topics so i, I can understand the temptation and and the and problem here is that it gives you a sense of and actually this is a false sense of achievement okay you think that yes i can do uh, maybe je advanced level problems or maybe very difficult problems from uh, different sources but uh, this is not real preparation so you have to guard yourself against this kind of a temptation your preparation should be uh, broad enough uh, so that you can perform well in all the topics the next topics regarding coaching so see in your drop year the foremost thing which you have to understand for yourself is what are the topics in which you are weak okay this directly connects with the previous tip that i had discussed just like it is important for you to understand the strong points it is also important for you to understand what are your weak points because it is because of those weak points that you were not successful in your first attempt now if you are joining some kind of a coaching institute then it is highly likely that the coaching institute teachers are going to uh, teach you not like a private tutor but as part of a large batch and as part of that large batch they are going to have a certain agenda a certain schedule of their own and they may be starting uh, maybe the first three months on certain topics on which you are already familiar and comfortable so is it not a waste of time for you to not devote those three initial months on topics which you actually should be preparing on which you are uh, actually weak so what otherwise is the benefit of you taking the drop you taking the drop is basically like that the bare truth is this that you taking the drop is just giving yourself extra time for preparation now if you spend that extra time in doing things which you already know just because the coaching institute teacher is teaching you you are actually uh, i mean pair pe kulhari maar rahe ho i mean you are just harming yourself okay so don't do that the extra time that you have given yourself by sacrificing one year utilize that time to actually cover up the deficits the loopholes in your preparations the lacuna in your preparation okay i mean this is so very obvious i simply cannot understand why people do not realize this okay this is the most obvious thing do not let yourself be guided by someone else's agenda or someone else's schedule you have to understand what are your weak points what are the things you need to study study those it's so very obvious okay so uh i said i'll give you a scolding at the end but here is a scolding okay don't do this okay this is this is just stupid please don't do this okay the the next point uh so this is something negative associated with uh with the coaching institutes but uh, uh, there is something positive with coaching institutes also which is my next point and that is uh, the big help that coaching institutes provides 
uh, in in the in the form of mock tests. So this is very very important. In my drop year, this is if there is one correct thing that I did during my uh, drop year was that uh, how I dealt with the mock tests, and I gave dozens and dozens. Okay, maybe almost a hundred mock tests during my drop year. So this is again a very simple like a very obvious strategy but i do not understand why many people do not realize this this is see when you when you give a mock test okay uh, of course you are not going to be able to solve everything so when you don't understand something when you are missing a question after the test is over you have to make sure that you go through the solutions of all the problems if you do not understand anything you have to go back and study them, restudy the concept until and unless you can grasp the concept so very well that the next time such a question comes from the same concept and the same topic, there is no way you are going to miss that. Okay, this is a very, very simple and obvious thing. Once you face a hurdle, once you stumble on something, make sure that is no longer a stumble in future. Okay, so this was a massive mistake which I made during my first attempt. Uh, I, I did give mock tests that time also in my first attempt, but I never took out the time or the effort to actually learn from my mistakes. So, I mean, mock tests are definitely good to give you an idea of how well you can perform and what, what you know. But more important than that, it gives you an indication of what you don't know and what you are incapable of. So, uh, that's, the, that's the diagnosis, okay. So take this as, a, as, as the diagnosis of what you have to do. So uh, people think like I have to work hard, I have to work hard this in like 10 hours, 12 hours. Are they forget all of those things? These are arbitrary, arbitrary advices. What you have to actually work is that give the mock test and, and study the things which you don't know. This is so very, I mean, clear cut. Okay. So there is no philosophy needed. There is no extra motivation required for this. You have found out it's clear to you. On, on that piece of paper on, on whatever the the online test that these are the concepts that you don't know study them next time make sure that you can answer this okay so sometimes you don't need special kinds of uh, strategies or anything some sometimes the most obvious things are uh, just staring at your face okay so these are the four important tips first of all was the leveling up okay step by step making sure that every step is concrete second was this uh, not spending too much time in your comfort zone then the coaching institute thing don't let them guide you on their schedule you pick your own schedule to ensure that you get the uh, you make the best use of the extra time that you have given yourself in this drop year and fourth of course is this mock test okay so making sure that you never ever make a mistake of, of one thing which you have stumbled on Okay, and I, I like this this four tip so much. I'll, I'll give you another thing is that uh, they say that uh, the best way to uh, to kill your enemy is to make him your friend. So once you find that a concept is your enemy uh, because you have not been able to score in it, learn it so well that it becomes your friend. Okay, all right. Now the scolding. Okay. <sighs> See. You are watching this video in your drop year, all right? So, I don't know what you want to call this is a motivational video or what? Uh, and there are some motivational videos in this wild zone of the internet. Uh, what are you doing, man? Okay, what are you doing? See, you are trying to find motivation outside of yourself. Okay. You are motivated enough you think that you you need motivation right you are motivated enough to go and search for something on youtube and watch it maybe for 10 minutes 15 minutes something and then maybe it will automatically recommend you another video you will click on that you will watch that okay lots of goody goody stuff very motivational quotes very inspirational quotes maybe you can you'll watch something which uh, which is from general philosophy how to tackle hardships in life and all those things what are you doing what is this motivation motivation business what is this inspiration all this is mithya okay all this is a lie there is no motivation there is no inspiration okay whatever is required is there within you whatever is what is what is actually required you know what to do you just have to listen to yourself in a very genuine fashion there is just you your brain and the test 
there is also the feeling that I need some kind of an external motivation to help me tackle uh, society and and how I, I get to uh, get to deal with the various kinds of toxicity and the negativity which people around me those neighborhood uncles and aunties they they keep pestering me sometimes even my parents my siblings they say certain things I need some external help to to to, to bolster me in this big battle you don't require that okay let them say let them say why you why you why do you need extra motivation for this why do you need some kind of an external bolster for this you need this because you do not have and here i am giving you a scolding you need this because you do not have enough faith in yourself you do not have enough belief in yourself that's why you need this extra extra uh, extra bolster okay this extra support and why do you not have this belief and why do you not have this faith because you do not believe that you can tackle this exam on your own okay this is so so what is actually lacking is preparation you improve your preparation automatically you will see that you will not need this extra bolster this extra support so that's why i'm saying all this external motivation inspiration this is all a lie okay the only truth is the genuine nature of your preparation do not lie to yourself okay as long as you are honest with yourself regarding your preparation you can think you can have dreams and goals and aspirations big big things but at the end of the day it comes down to business and you have to actually tackle it at uh, at its absolute truth value okay you have to understand for yourself what what is the genuine value the the, the the genuine level of your preparation and how you can keep on leveling up and the more you level up the more confidence you'll have in yourself and that itself will be the internal support which is everything that you will require to tackle all the negativity and the toxicity that may be around you that's it okay so stop going stop trying to find out motivational videos if you are if you are already motivated enough to go and search for a motivational video you are motivated enough to study okay so st stop this video anyway i have i'm done speaking stop this video stop watching this all these uh, stupid things uh, just go and level up your preparation that's it okay so i wish you all the very best thank you and i hope i'll be able to see you placed in in an iit or the or the institute of your choice next year go ahead